Welcome back to Miss USA. Now, before the break, our top five contestants faced off in the questions round. Their answers were carefully evaluated by the selection committee, and now only three of these women will take one step closer to the crown. Here we go. The first woman to make it to the top three is... North Carolina. Also headed to the finals is Oklahoma. Three women still hoping to make their dreams come true, but there's only room for one. Capturing the last spot in the top three is New Mexico. to our top three finalists. They've each proven that they can handle the pressure of the competition, so we're wasting no time in putting them on the spot once again. That's right, it's the final word. We'll hear again from our finalists, but this time, each of them will be asked the exact same question. It's a unique chance for our top three to show the world what truly distinguishes them from their competitors. All right, each of you are gonna have 30 seconds to deliver your final word. When your time is up, you're gonna hear this sound. You'll each be wearing soundproof headphones, making it impossible for you to hear your competitors' answers. It's time for the final word. Headphones on. Here we go. And they are jamming under those headphones. <laughs> North Carolina, please join us. Here's your question. Millennials are often labeled as entitled, but they've also been called one of the most socially conscious generations in decades. What is one word you would use to describe your generation and why? I would say that my generation is innovative. I'm standing here in Nevada, in the state that has the first majority female legislature in this entire country. Mine is the first generation to have that forward-looking mindset that has inclusivity, diversity, and strength and empowered women. I'm looking forward to continued progress with my generation. Thank you, North Carolina. Right. Please remove Oklahoma's headphones. Oklahoma, please come join us. All right, Oklahoma, here is your question. Millennials are often labeled as entitled, but they've also been called one of the most socially conscious generations in decades. What is one word you would use to describe your generation and why? Diverse. We are a nation. We are a nation of diverse, a multicultural nation, which gives us the ability to view life from a completely different lens. At one point, my father, who is Caucasian, and my mother, who is African American, would not have been able to be together. But I'm here standing today as a multicultural, Chickasaw, African American, Caucasian woman, along with my peers able to view life from a beautiful, beautiful lens. And that is what a Miss USA represents as a diverse woman. Thank you, Oklahoma. Please remove New Mexico's headphones. Please join us. All right, New Mexico, here is your question. Millennials are often labeled as entitled, but they've also been called one of the most socially conscious generations in decades. What is one word you would use to describe your generation and why? Impactful. We have the, palm of, the world at the palm of our hands right now. And I think that with youth, 
using it so much today, we're able to send out messages to the younger generations. I know just, just this competition, my following has grown so much. And to be able to receive messages of inspiration that I've inspired someone to do something, it might not be necessarily pageantry, but in fulfilling a career. I have my master's in accounting, so that's really hard. Um, so that's just something that's so important of our trait that we have, and I'm so excited to be able to contribute that to society. Thank you so much, New Mexico. Our three finalists just delivered their final word. Any one of them would make a great Miss USA, but there can only be one. Coming up, it's their last chance to leave an unforgettable impression in the final look. This is Miss USA, live on Fox.